today I would like to share you about the uh, hosting the web application for the Docker, and we have a, a multiple uh, subdomain point to the same server. For example, this is a client, and the client we have multiple client and multiple client point to the same server, but uh, that server we use a uh, uh, river proxy river proxy engine it is it a docker that uh, running on the container for the linux platform that uh, i try to uh, test it from the digital ocean cloud so at the end of the video uh, I'm going to point that subdomain to subdomain this one and this one to the the server to the same server so uh, let's start now uh, firstly I log in th that server already and I'm trying to uh, to check any container is running on the server or not so uh, I try this command but uh, as the I run it have no container uh, up so I'm trying to create uh, I'm trying to create the uh, container with uh, uh, with uh, with with a uh, network first firstly we need to add a docker network so let's try docker network create and gene it uh, proxy so we after we try it is uh, uh, complete and then I'm sorry this is what I I have uh, mentioned on the command. I try again. Okay, so I already uh, created. So we are going to up to 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 run the run the proxy river proxy for engine eight container. So in order to run it, we have a docker compile so this is a docker compile that we going to build uh, going to run the container and I already uh, copy that docker compile so okay e. so this is the same the same of uh, docker compile file here uh this is the make that uh there is a family with another developer uh, as i i check they have many tutorial to uh, create from this image so that's why i decide to uh, develop uh, this video for you guys uh, to make sure it is possible uh, how to hosting multiple uh, website to the same server so uh, we have already uh, docker compose so we can up the docker compose this is a command that uh, we up the docker compose so I just pass here okay now the the container is up so we can check again to make sure it is up correctly okay so this is container it up with port 80 so you can uh, call it to make sure it is uh, uh, correct or not okay so this is the container that uh, already up and work as uh, our expectation so after that we are going to create a, a, a 
a website with a WordPress and point at that website with the subdomain. So this is command. So I'm going to run it one. This is a subdomain that I I point I that I create and this is the uh, email name so and it is going to export for internal only for port 80 so I, I click enter okay then I try again to check to make sure the container is up or not okay so we can see the container is up and then I'm trying to create another website the same but with a different subdomain for the port that's one and then trying to click enter oh I'm sorry we need to change the container name so I'm trying to change this one for block one okay so I trying to okay so all uh, all uh, container is up uh, expectation yes so we're going to check to see how uh, we're going to point uh, this subdomain to the server so I already logged in for the God Eddy. so this is my a record for God Eddy. so I I create the a record and then I point that a record to the server the the public uh, IP for for the digital origin server so i already point it so uh this is uh, the supplement that i test okay let me try is it working or not okay this one is working how about test dot explorer okay both are working as the expectation so uh I think uh, that is all from my side. So if you have any uh, comment or you or you want to uh, uh, have any question, please comment the video below, and I will help you guide to to install this one. So thank you very much.